Hello world. I'm in service today, waiting for a lovely lady that is her years going through her life. When you see me on these videos, understand I'm waiting on the Heavenly Lord and the Heavenly Father to bring a dream to pass. It's not a dream that's just mine. It's a dream that Father put in my heart to remind me of how exquisite and extraordinary His light is. And it resides in me. See, today I'm in service and it's Sunday. Now many people will say you keep Sunday, Sabbath, but you keep it to yourself and you keep it in peace. It is always a beautiful thing. But to be in service on a Sunday is twice the joy. Because your hands are at work for the Lord. Now we come to this earth for work and pleasure. Now you have to decide what's pleasure and what's work. Do all you realize that while I sit here, the Father is working behind the scenes? Your scene, my scene, and the world. See, many people think manifestation is their doing. In this life, I have seen the Heavenly Father manifest out of thin air in front of me, reminding me of the days when the Lord was on the ground. See, he came to this earth and many religions don't think he has because they're almost in disbelief. Something so magnificent could actually happen to them that the pages that they write have actually come to pass. See, God does that. God makes you understand he's in control of your life when you give your life to him. And when you think you haven't, he's knocking on your door. So like I've said, while you're watching these videos, I'm waiting for Father to bring my dream and his dream for my life to pass. Do you ever get into a situation where you tell yourself, I'm done, I can't do it anymore, I'm exhausted, I'm burnt out. Haven't we all been there? And that's when Father steps in and carries you home. See, this doesn't happen just on a dream. It happens in your life. Do you ever wake up the next morning and say to yourself, I actually feel better than I did yesterday. I thought I was exhausted yesterday. God has renewed you. And me. Many times. See, I'm exhausted <laughs> on waiting on this dream. It's been 13 years since I had the vision. I've lost many people in my life. I've changed a great deal. I'm waiting on my divine counterpart to see her. I haven't met her yet. I haven't gotten to the house yet. I have no idea when public life is coming. Right now I'm in service. And to be honest, it's healing my heart from all the hard journey that I've had. As an empath, you go through many emotions. Many people will tell you it's bipolar depression. Oh my God, it so is. Do you realize bipolar means spirit and earth? The veil is getting thinner. And that's why you see so much of it more coming out in the world. As the veil gets thinner, the more psychic everyone gets. You ready for that? Because my spiritual life 
is exceptionally rich. I can see Mother Mary, and she comes to my bedside. And thank God she does, because the devil has placed an enormous amount of suffering. I can tell you a story, which I have many, as most masters do, because you're a journey in your life. And if you can't talk about your life, you're not growing. So when many people want to keep secrets, I'm a Scorpio. I don't mind secrets. But there's always a time for it to come out, as Scorpios do. Scorpios come out from underneath their rock. And we bring the sting. Are you ready for my stinger? Because I'm Mary Magdalene from the tomb. What do you think tomb means to me?